Hello, no. great people. I want us to pay attention to this so, place. So, the real problem is, fu is fuel. It is the fuel. And the answer for it is to go to the electric vehicles, number one. And electric picky pickies. And secondly, to use the railway, where the railway can be quickly repaired. So, before I proceed, there are people who are making uh, uh, picky picky solar power, uh, electric picky pickies. Are they here? Uh huh. Okay. You say something. Put your microphone on. Your Excellency, sir. Honorable ministers present. Remove the mask so we can hear you. Okay. Your Excellency, sir. Honorable ministers present, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Professor Emeka Akezua. I am the Vice Chancellor of the International University of East Africa in Kansanga, Kampala. And I'm here with my colleague, Mr. Alwi Hassan. I am a scientist and engineer by training, and I am happy to present to you the electric motorcycle, the IUEA electric motorcycle that was designed and developed at IUEA with partners. And our whole philosophy about this is to produce in Uganda to develop product solutions for transportation in Uganda <coughs> using mobile, um, based on mobility, using clean energy, electric energy. So we have, Your Excellency, created the e-motorcycle to enable us to help create jobs here in Uganda, develop capacity, the talent to build technological solutions in the area of transportation and many other areas. So the electric picky picky that we have created is on the roads in Kampala. We are piloting those. And we have generated a lot of research that shows that these motorcycles are very viable. We can build them here in Uganda using local talent. We can build them with our partners. And all right. <coughs> All right, great people, my great people. I hope every one of you understand this video that we just finished watching right now. I want you people to see how Nigeria are killing the talents of Biafran people. I want you people to understand how Nigeria have chased all the whole professors and talent people, the thinkers away from our land, Biafra. Now have you begin to see the reason why the world don't want Biafra to come. But believe you me, Biafra must come. All must aid Biafra. All must aid Biafra. Let me introduce myself before we go on details in this video that we just watched. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazi Oken Naokichuku, known as the Bia Franchise Watching Eke. The general, now listen to the news in detail. This is a brother from Igbo speaking Biafra, reside in Kampala in Uganda. Reside in Kampala, Uganda. Build electric motorcycle and is also planning to give a job to Ugandans. Now, do you see how this fallen is? Now, do you see how these people that are coming from Senegambia, Chad, Nijeo, 
are taking away all our talent, chasing our people away from our land. Do you know that if do, do, do you see that the, the president of Uganda is supporting an a Biafra man that resides in Kampala and he's a professor? His name is Emeka, Emeka Aka Aka Ezu Akezuwa. Emeka Akezuwa. He is a scientist and also engineer. He built electric machine and is ready to work with Uganda people to create a job for them. To all these people that are picking irons, to create a job for them. Imagine if Biafra comes today. Imagine how many thinkers we have in the whole wide world. Imagine engineers that will surface from Biafra land. Imagine how our land will be in the next five years. That is the why the world are, you know, they are putting their health together to make sure that Biafra will never come. But we are promising them that Biafra must come. Biafra must be the light of Africa. Biafra must make African great. We are the people that are going to make African great. Because after the restoration of Biafra, the kingdom of Chuko Kikabiyama on this planet Earth, Africa will be free. Africa will stop depending on Europeans and Americans. Africa will depend on their own, on their own with their resources. You see how Fulani Alamajiri have chosen all of our, you know, scientists, thinkers, you know, all engineers we have in our land, they have already chased all of them away. And Fulani Alamajiri, there is no thinker in their land. And those one that we have, instead of them to, you know, to give, you know, what belongs to the indigenous people of Biafra, to make African great, they don't want. Because they know that if Biafra is free, Africa is definitely free. You know, I am bringing this thing for you people to see what our, one of our brother, Emeka Akezuwa, is doing today in Kampala, Uganda. Tell me any full animal that can do what these people are doing. The one of Innocent, very, very soon, they, they, will, try, they will try to close Innocent. eBay to have closed. All the whole factories we have, instead of them to, you know, Kwaya, Kwaya, Janufu, go away, grow. Nigeria will kill your talent. Now, do you see that people are running away, going other countries and have the name? They become name. They themselves are name. All this proverb is because of the kind of atrocity we are facing in that contraption making some of us to be giving out this proverb now our brothers and sisters are in other land developing their land why in our land every day they are killing and maiming trooping into our land to take over our land to destroy our thinkers to destroy our profession professors and our scientists and engineers because they know who we are now you begin to see it. This is our own. And that is why we are saying that Biafra must come. We, you see, when Biafra comes, the faster we will grow Biafra, it will surprise to every person in this world. Biafra must be a fastest growing economy within two years because they will come back. Our engineers will come back. Our professors will come back. Our thinkers will come back. You know, I'm just bringing you this. And you heard what this man said. A professor. Emeka. Akezuwa. He said. He's ready to work with the Uganda president. Uganda people. To create a job for Ugandans. For, to create a job for. Do you see the man mentioned that he's from Nigeria? The answer is no. He mentioned his name. Mentioned his qualification. Mention where he reside. In, the man has turned himself to a Uganda man. 
He don't even mention Nigeria because he knows that he is not a Nigerian. Do you heard him say he's from Nigeria or he migrated from? He did not say that because he knows that Nigeria will kill your talent. This is what I bring for you today to see that Nigeria don't want us to, 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 to leave and the world are backing them up to destroy all our talent. But at the end, we must win this battle and every of our engineers, professors, scientists, then we back to our land, our thinkers, then we'll be back and build Biafra because Biafra is the kingdom of Chukukikabiyame on this planet Earth. This is what I bring for you people today. Good day and welcome.